Hello, I'm Alison from Russian Arts and Crafts and today I'm going to try um, painting this beautiful uh, Bird of Paradise stencil using the Imagination Crafts Starlight's metallic paints. So to start off I have my stencil, I am going to be using Imagination Crafts embossing rubber mat. Um, use this one um, for the Starlight Magnetics mat because it's not porous like normal silicon mats, it is made of rubber um, so it doesn't absorb your paints um, when you run it through uh, your embosser. So that's quite handy for some of the other techniques. Um, piece of card and what I've already done off camera um, that you haven't seen is I've actually already embossed this um, through my embosser um, just for a bit of speed today um, using the stencil. Uh, you just layer up, you have your cutting mat um, on the base, uh, say your big shot uh, as an example. Um, you have a platform, cutting mat, embossing mat, your paper, your stencil and then your cutting mat and just run that through. Um, there are actually instructions on the back um, of the rubber mat for the cuttle bug and the grand calibre. If you've got those, um, I was using the big shot today and it works beautifully it just gives you a very light emboss and it doesn't emboss as deep as it would with um, either a silicon mat or um, an embossing folder but I don't know whether you can see this or not but it's just giving it a lovely light embossing um, which will also hopefully help with our painting. So I need to just line it back up. Let's just move my paints out, back out of the way. I'm going to actually paint through the stencil so when I can see where I do that. So lining that back up. That down there. It's not easy to see with this lighting. I've actually got that in the right place. That looks about right. And then I'm going to a bit of masking tape down on it so hopefully it won't move now whilst I'm painting that's a little bit on each end stencil just to secure that down hopefully fingers crossed we won't end up with bleed underneath the stencil. But this is a new technique to me so, as well, so first time of trying it. So let's give this a go. Yeah. Right, my image, Bird of Paradise, is very sort of oranges and golds um, around this area. We're looking at some blues and some greens and then going into greens for the stems. So I'm going to start <coughs> with this Zingoba Gold and just using a tiny, tiny amount from the lid.
Okay. And of course, before you did this, you didn't have to do this on white card as I am for my practice run. You could have um, coloured your paper in some beautiful shades before applying this. Uh, or even doing this on black card. This this paint is stunning on black card. Right, let's do the reveal and see how much of bleed we've got and how successful my first trial run was. So let's just remove masking tape. Always pulling it away from yourself and away from the paper. Um, that way then you eliminate tearing and ripping across um, if you're just using paper. I'm going to remove this one, but I'm going to leave this one as a hinge. And also because that is partially stuck to the paper. Let's have a little lift and reveal. Keep our fingers crossed. Ah, not too bad for a first attempt. Could have been tidier. And you can see where it has got the bleed. And just come on, so I'm just going to carefully remove that, pulling it away. And as you can see, a tiny bit of a tear there in the car. Well, that's fine because I can trim that off. But you wouldn't want that, obviously, ripping and tearing right the way across what you've just made. And this. Will just be washed now and sponged off with a baby wipe. And here's our finished result. It is a little bit messy, a little bit untidy on the corners, so I might think again and adapt that. Try and do it different. But with the paint, can you see that iridescence of the metallics? Putting aside the bleed from under the stencil so maybe I get a flatter surface this has got slight bow in it my surface so I need to work on a flatter surface and looking at making sure that the stencil doesn't bleed underneath but it's first start effort first try and as I say, if you don't play with them, you never know. You never know what you can and can or can't achieve. But the essence of the bird of paradise. And actually, I've got one on my phone. Let's see whether I can show you what I was actually looking at for the colours. And you can see. There. Here's what we were looking at. And there. Is what we've got so colour wise I think we've pretty much achieved it yeah so onwards and upwards and keep practicing I think with this technique and see what we can develop thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it bye